For at least the past day, I've been having difficulty in accessing my Game of Thrones Winter is Coming account. The potatoes are pretty good. Has a nice cheese, cheesy taste to them. This is how my city currently looks on Elvenar. Made a recent decision to upgrade the town hall, the oh, the main hall. I think it was within <coughs> the last 24 hours. Earlier today, I had more of the Singapore noodles that Dad got yesterday. It's currently around 9 or 11 at night. These potatoes taste pretty good. Again. I've been working on the new Dan Hamming episode I started. Not too long ago. And it's the first. I did some experimenting with Camtasia. 2019 and I was able to figure out how to how to make the green screen in the in the videos they're supposed to depict the animations of retired non-business character assets from Rapper Offline so that you can then insert them into Camtasia 2019. I was able to figure out the right size area recording to use for Bandicam. The task I have ahead of me is to figure out how to make these uh, layers move in a sort of animation. Later, later on, I should probably make some sort of tutorial on how to do what I've been trying to figure out how to do. I figured out how to do something relatively stationary, but now I've got to do something that's relatively more advanced, which is
when the images and animations have to move in order to stay consistent with the storyline I'm constructing. Hey, Dad. How is it? <laughs> Great. Do you have any more potatoes? <laughs> no. I gave you two and I got two. Hmm. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. Isn't it the best steak ever? I think so, and there, these are some great potatoes. <laughs> well, well, next time we'll have the same thing if I can find the their potato au gratin. Hmm. Okay. What do you use to season the steak? I use salt and pepper and that hot pepper sauce. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. I mean, oh, I love that George form. I got to show you how to cook it. It's so easy. Please do. Thank you. Next time I, I uh, next time I cook, I'll show you what I do. Thanks. And then I let it sit. I let once I'm done, I let the meat cook for like five minutes in itself. So mm. all the juices are trapped in there. Then I add a little more salt and pepper. A great strategy. I know. Thank you. Did you put it on YouTube, or are you still doing it? I'm still filming it. Hi, people. <laughs> don't, don't show them. The place is a mess. Okay. All right. I'll try not to. Love you, Dad. Today was the day that I at last managed to get all the necessary runes for the Tome of Secrets. <coughs> Thankfully, it doesn't require any population, but <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to need either a province expansion or a research expansion. A province expansion will require engaging in some battles. I've got the idea that I currently need heavy range units. And I realize that this new building I placed, it, it produces heavy range units but of a different kind. I believe the ones that are from the mercenary camp? Hmm. Either way, uh, I'm going to need a new expansion. A research expansion. Relatively speaking, it's not that far off, though I should probably go for the province expansion since in order to get to the next chapter, I gotta get to 50... To owning 50 provinces. So I should probably go with a province expansion. To make room for the Tome of Secrets. I recall sleeping for a pretty long time. Before I first got up this morning, I think around 11, I had a chocolate icing on the top donut with white cream in the middle inside. Then I had a cinnamon. Danish.
with some vanilla cream. And around noon, I had some leftover Singapore noodles that my dad scooped out for me in advance after I microwaved it in a minute. After taking the plastic lid off. But I don't recall taking it out of the plastic container it was scooped into. I believe the rule is don't put metal into the microwave. I had that. I had the donut and Danish with some coffee. And then, at the same time, I f had my last helping of the Singapore noodles when my dad got home from work around 4.30. I recall having some tea with it.